it's gradient super easily on Canva. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to elements. This is the easiest one and I personally love this method. So you're just gonna type in gradient and you're gonna find multiple graphics over here. I'm gonna choose this one. Sometimes when you choose them, can't find any examples because they're all great, uh, but sometimes you will not see these colors here. So I don't think, I don't know. If any, so here you will see edit image. We don't want that. We don't want it as an image. We want it as a graphic. So basically what I'm looking for is when I choose my element that the two colors appear. What that means is that one color is on one side and the other color is on the other side. So wait, this one here. So as you can see, now the gradient goes smoothly. This part is transparent. So let's say if I add an image behind it so you can see, I'm gonna type in model and then I'm just gonna add this girl over here and we're gonna put her behind this. So you will go position to the back. So as you can see now, not very visible, but here you see that there's a line between them and there's the gradient. So here you see it's a little softer and then here it's completely transparent on this side. The great thing about this is that let's say I have this image, but I need a little bit more of space here. So let's just expand this image, this particular image like this. Uh, let's add it to the top. So I really have everything I need. You can even add it here a little bit. So here I have it. And now, as you can see, I have this space that I have nothing to do with. So the way I can hide it is with a gradient. So I have a gradient here. I'm going to expand it. I'm going to move it to the side and now I need to match the color. So I'm going to move it here and then here I'm going to click here, choose the color picker and just choose the color closest to the edge. And I'm going to do the same with this color as well. And here I have it. Now I'll also change the background so it's not completely white. So we're going to choose the color as well here. And that's basically it. So now, as you can see, there's a rough line here and that's what I need to get rid of. So I just hold an option key on your Mac and then I'm just going to drag it and drag it and drag it until I'm happy with the result. So now I see that my gradient is not full. It has to be completely full cover the whole image. And then I just drag, 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 and it's here. Now, if you do have Canva Pro, what you can also do on top of this is copy this image and then paste it on top and just edit photo and remove the background. But you do need Canva Pro for this. So it will remove that background for me fine, but then I will have to pay for it once I want to download. So there's a lot of different effects we can do with this. If you have a random image and you just want a gradient, then it's very easy. You go to the elements, choose your gradient, add it here, and then just choose the colors you want for the gradient. So let's say I want these ones and maybe a dark color. So as you can see, I have this color, this color, and then the background color. So the background color just can easily change by going here and choosing whichever color I want. And then we can create whichever gradient we want. Now, what if you want to create a more crazy gradient? So for example, if you go to elements, you'll see that if I type in gradients, there's gonna be photos like this. So they're added the gradient, you know, in multiple different colors. But let's say I don't like these colors. So one of the ways is obviously to go to the photo and then try to adjust colors that way. So you will go to adjust, for example, and you will change them you know, play around with them and choose the colors that you like. This way make it lighter, brighter and darker and things like that. So this is really to play around with, but you can also create your own. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new page and then here we're going to go to apps and we're going to go to draw. I think mine is already here, so I don't need to do it. So now I can completely control which colors I choose. We're going to choose this pen. And then we're gonna choose a color. So let's say I have my brand colors here. You can choose your own colors. And then what I need to do is I just need to draw with this pen. So I choose here and I'm gonna type in 200 because I want the pen to be big because I'm drawing on my computer and that's not the most comfortable place to draw. But basically what I do is I draw like this, like a little blob. And I can then choose another color 
and change it to this let's say or i usually like to choose kind of like a stronger colors because otherwise you can't really see them so we're going to choose this one we're going to choose this one and then we're going to add new so i'm going to add a little darker red and we can add it in multiple places as well if you want a perfect shape then you can also go to elements and just choose a shape here so let's say i'm going to click c for circle and then i can just add a bunch of circles wherever i want or you can also add a blob so let's add a blob somewhere so we're gonna add it here just go crazy uh, add another one also you can change the colors of these blobs so we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna just change the background to put it all together so let's choose the background maybe something like this and then i just take a screenshot or i can download this file up to you so let's move me over here and then i just screenshot for me i'm using mac so my screenshot is uh, control shift and number four and then i just drag it here or you can download this image so you would go download uh, choose the one you need current page and download as a png or jpeg then i will upload it to the new page and here i'm going to click edit photo choose blur and i'm just going to blur it out and here we have our gradients i hope this video is helpful oh i forgot one last thing sorry uh one last thing is that you can also go to the images so i chose for example pastel tones i noticed that if you go to beach or sandy those work really well so just choose uh, images where there's no people well and what you do you just upload them you click edit image and you blur again like this with intensity so here it is and i have my blur ready and i can make it more transparent and things like that so i hope that this video is helpful if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below i love making videos for you see you in the next one bye